Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of A Crypto Bellwether. I don't always tell you what you want to hear, but I tell you what you need to hear to make an informed decision. Guys, the reason I am how I am, I just give it to you straight, and is because I truly believe that we are at the early, early stages of the biggest bull run in the history of man. And that there's an opportunity for the average person to change their financial future. I truly believe that. And that's why I started my channel. So when I go down the rabbit hole and I'm doing all this research and I keep coming across like people that are trying to pump their bag or grow their channel with just flat out fluff or they're trying to sell you something like gold or silver, it kind of triggers me. And lately, I've been hearing a lot of stuff about uh, bricks and how bricks is going to uh, stop the U.S. dollar from being the reserve currency and that they are creating this global basket of currencies backed by gold and silver and commodities and that it's a done deal. I, I've heard that a lot. And that once we have the uh, global reset, well, the dollar, you know, is gone as far as its power. And that the whole world is going to be restructured. Let's listen to some of this stuff. The new world reserve currency will kill the U.S. dollar. BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Check this out, guys. Gold, the great reset. World leaders are getting ready. Wow, I didn't know that. Now, this one's really bizarre, and I'm not even going to really touch base on it because it has zero merit, but it's not an insult on Ripple or XRP. I own it, I like it, but it's not going to be the global currency. But it says, it has been confirmed, XRP will lead the Great Reset. Another one, XRP Ripple. When we finally witness the Great Reset, Ripple will lead the way. Man, guys. All right. Now, let's get a touch of reality of what I know. That these people either know or they just flat out don't care to understand it they have an agenda which i think that's the real reason is here's the deal guys that would be very fair and that probably is the future maybe it gets there 50 100 years from now i don't know but that would be a very good thing to have because the countries around the world every one of them print money and it's just a joke. It is a scam. However, the scam was created by the world to set the a dollar as the reserve currency. And yes, as bizarre as it is that we print just a bizarre amount of money, the rest of the world even prints more. And of course, they would like to change it and make it a lot more fair. But obviously, America has zero interest in that. Now, our leadership isn't that good right now, and the world is taking advantage of us. And when America's weak, the world is weak. And I'm not going to get political, but let me just give you some information if you believe that I'm wrong and that this could happen before you run out and buy your gold and silver. And this is not financial advice. I heard, for instance, that Saudi Arabia is gonna join BRICS and they're gonna help make all this happen. Well, I, I could see them maybe saying they're going to, or maybe even actually doing it, especially if they had bad leadership. But here's the reality. If they ever did it, and they literally tried to take the global reserve from the dollar, it would take one phone call. And that phone call would say, hey, 
Um, who's your biggest customer in the world? It's America. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're the biggest customer to China for everything as well. That's another phone call that we'll have. But you call Saudi Arabia and say, you know, we, we have probably a thousand years of oil between the Gulf of Mexico, uh, North Dakota, and the Alaskan pipeline. We never, ever need any of your oil. So if you do this, we're not going to buy any more oil. That's it. They'll get in line. China. Let's think about China. China would love to do it, and probably 50, 100 years from now, they'll probably pull it off. It may take a war, a real war, but they'll pull it off. I have no doubt. They, they probably will. But let's talk about now. It ain't going to happen anytime soon. Here's why. We are really, really in debt. So who are we in debt to? China. Right? So we buy everything from them. We print money. They make cheap stuff. We swap it out. It's not a fair arrangement. I get it. I don't know how we pulled it off to begin with. And in my opinion, the worst thing America ever did was to go off the gold standard. Which leads me to the craziness that I hear all the time that we're going back to the gold standard. Guys, you can't. That's like someone making $100,000 a year and owing $10 million on their credit cards, and someone say, hey, pay off your credit cards and then live on what you make. It's impossible. We can't ever go back. And if we did, no matter who's right or wrong, it's not a conversation. We're all done for. But whatever that's worth. So anyway, guys, the reason I wanted to make this is because it really bothers me uh, because I think that it is important that hopefully we pick good, strong utility tokens in what's coming down the pipe in crypto, and we can all make life-changing gains. And that's what I am here for. Now, this is not financial advice, but I want to say one other thing, because I see young people talking about buying gold and silver. Again, not financial advice, but I traded gold and silver for many years in the futures and commodity markets. And if you study the history, and I'm doing this by memory, I haven't looked at a chart forever, because I will never own it. There's no reason, in my opinion, to own any asset outside of maybe a house that is not going to outrun inflation. And people say, oh, well, that's what it is. It's an inflation hedge. Well, go back from as far back as you want and study the history. There was a section of time that that was a true statement, but that hasn't happened forever and it's going to probably never happen again. Now, I have heard that people go, well, what if we have Armageddon and, you know, the military, uh, I forget what you call that, where, you know, you uh, just have uh, uh, your own, I can't think of the word, where you basically just have no rules, martial law. Well, they're saying, well, then money wouldn't have a value and we would go back to using gold and silver. That probably would be true. But guess who's going to come get your gold and silver? The people with the bullets. And I know that sounds like a joke, but guys, I'm not capping here. This is what I really believe. If you check the history of the price of lead and gunpowder for like the last 10 years, or especially since COVID, you're looking at like a 7X since COVID. So two things to that. First of all, you'll need those if we ever have martial law. And second of all, it's outran inflation. And third of all, if we ever do have Armageddon, you can use that to go get all the gold and silver that you need because what are they going to do? Throw the gold and silver at you? Because you bought the right commodities. Now, I know that sounds funny, but that is a true statement for whatever it's worth. But anyway, guys, in all seriousness, 
be careful who you listen to. That's all I'm saying. Consider your source. Why is this person telling me that? Look, I don't benefit. I really don't care what you guys do with your money, but I want you to have my input so that you can at least get a different perspective. And, you know, these people that have an agenda, they don't care that you don't make money in this great bull run that's coming down the pike. And I really do. That's all I got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Make sure you hit that notification. And whether you like this conversation or not, either hit the like button or the unlike button because it helps me out either way. That's all I got for you guys. Take care.